Hi everyone, Dr. Harmon here. Today I'd like to talk about hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is made by our bodies all the time and it's turned over very quickly, within about 24 to 36 hours. It's a good water absorber and it acts as a shock absorber for the soft tissue of our bodies. It's also produced outside of our bodies in the lab and it's used for a couple different types of products. The first are for moisturizers and other creams. It is meant to absorb water from the atmosphere to hold that water into our skin. Now, it's important to know that the hyaluronic acid that is in these creams and these moisturizers needs to be small enough to be actually absorbed by the skin for it to truly be effective. And, and that's not always the case, and it's really hard to know which product contains the correct size hyaluronic acid. The other option for hyaluronic acid outside the body is, is that it's used in filler, and it's used by many different companies and there are many different products, and these products have different properties, but they're all made of hyaluronic acid. And they're basically used to improve the definition and contour of the face. These filler products involve the extensive cross-linking, meaning the binding of the hy many hyaluronic acid molecules. And it's that binding and some other things added to it that impart certain structures and properties to that medication. Because they are multiply bound molecules, they don't get absorbed by the skin and they have to be injected under the skin. That's why when we do filler, we have to use needles or microcannulas. So there are many different products created using this molecule that our body makes all the time. And it's not so much that the molecule is radically different, but that it's how the molecule is formulated and how it's bound to itself that imparts these different properties that you know, we need to understand as fish plastic surgeons when we're utilizing them.